Alrighty, folks, our answers, our prayers have been answered. Artificial intelligence, aka AI, has finally unlocked the five secrets to retiring early. I can't wait to see what the best of the best have to say. Artificial intelligence, what say you? Dion? Mike, I appreciate you doing this. Um, and remember, boys and girls watching this video, that the S in AI stands for smart. I watched a video the other day. And I did a reaction to it, and I want to get your guys' opinion. The, the idea was this was an AI scripted, AI doodled, an AI voiced over video on the five things you need to do in order to retire early successfully. Okay. So one of them's a gray area, and I don't see it as a threat, but these four will stop you from retiring early. And I just want to get your guys' opinion on this. Okay. The first thing that AI says to retire early, because Bad data in gives you bad data out. Hmm. Max out retirement accounts as early as possible so you can retire early. Mike? Uh, you know, we, we, you know, somebody that's gone to school for a long time, you know, the earlier you invest, i.e., in this case, max out, just it's just how time works. But again, this pres presumes that you want to work for 40 years or 50 years. It is simply mathematically correct that if you start at 20 verse 30, you're going to have more at the end, just given time compounding. So this is, um, yeah, this one's okay. Uh, okay. Matt? Um, so I have a slight advantage as I sold AI and RPA for a number of years. Um, I can tell you as somebody who didn't go to school that much um, that – yeah, I get it. Like just it's, it's the, you know, all they had to do was read one line of Warren Buff, any of Warren Buffett's books, like congratulations, AI. I'm unimpressed. Um, so far, I'm yeah. unimpressed. Yeah. Yeah. So far unimpressed, but yeah, I mean, generally speaking, it's true, but I think very often, I think Dan, what you're probably getting at is the fact that it basically puts people on autopilot and it certainly puts you down a path where now you're on that path and that path in order for it to work out, I had a, I had a meeting with my wealth advisor this last week and he goes, you're doing things a little bit differently. And I was like, Oh, sweet Lord. And I tease him. He goes, I thought you'd like to hear that. I was like, yeah, of course. So he was just giving me a hard time, but really it's, it's about if you're going down that path. Yeah. I mean, you're kind of down that path. Like Mike said, you're working 40. Yeah. You're, you're signing up for decades. There's no other option. Yeah. Cause if you're going to do max your 401k, you, you, you are signing up for a minimum of 35 years and probably more like 45 years. And, that is a way, but it's certainly it's certainly not the fastest way. Right. So Beth Traverso pointed out the flaw. And, and to me, the problem with re retirement accounts for retiring early, Beth Traverso says the AI just missed the early part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and so retiring Agreed. retirement accounts puts it behind a paywall if you want to retire before 59 and a half. And <laughs> uh, so it's tied to an age. Right? Yeah, so it's exactly. behind a paywall period if you want to retire early. And then it's tied to an age. So that takes out the early part. The second thing was, explain the math to this, on, on, on Matt. AI says, in order to retire early, faster, you need to work more years. Okay. <laughs> Didn't mean to make you choke, Mike. In, but that's in, what AI said. In In order to retire faster, I need to work more years. Longer years. The more years you work, the better your retirement will be. I to understand the math, but yeah, I associated that with working more years. Uh huh. Retire you sooner. Well, I mean, AI clearly went to ninth grade. I didn't. Uh, the I mean, uh, with logic like that, I mean, I clearly missed out on high school. Um, maybe that's something yeah. they taught then. I don't get it. It doesn't make any <laughs> yeah, sense. You missed that class. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I wasn't there that day. I didn't fit in the seat. I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah, uh, I, that makes I, no I, logical I mean, sense. I, yeah, no. I, mean, I, I went to a lot of school and that's, that might be one of the stupidest <laughs> yes. things I've ever heard. In order Sorry. to retire early, you must work longer. What? Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, kind of like Matt said, it, it must have picked up a line of code from one book from one person about how working more and then missed the early part. This third one, this is the one that I kind of think is a gray area. It kind of makes sense. Hmm. If you want to retire early, AI says, don't retire. Don't depend on an inheritance. Zuber? I mean, I would love to have an inheritance. That would have been yeah. awesome. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't think a lot of us have that, you know, mom and dad money raining down on us. But 
you know, I think I think all three of us were raised knowing we weren't going to get a nickel and we had to do it all ourselves. So uh, I do think there's, you know, some truth in that, right? Not counting chickens coming. I mean, if you guys have read Millionaire Next Door or listened to it, you know that there's a, a big um, issue with kids who are being doled out on the parents' dime. Uh, yeah, don't count on that. So I, yeah, I, I want to have a fire behind me. That was what lit the fire behind me is I didn't, I, if I, if I didn't do it, no one else would. Uh, but don't get me wrong. I would love to have had inheritance to kickstart things. I'm going to, I'm going to totally blow up Dion's line. It's uh, it's him not wanting to have any money left because that makes him an, a target for his children. Um, and so I, I think, I think Dion's right in that regard for sure. I think what's interesting is, is the greatest wealth transfer in history is going to happen when boomers go and they transfer to their kids who in a lot of cases might be morons and they're going to burn through that money and they're going to burn through it fast. But, you know, my grandpa and my grandma, you know, when, when they were in their mid nineties, when they passed, but they were both children of the great depression. Mm. And so they say different everything. mindset, yeah, everything. Different mindset. Oh, complete, like completely different world. Yeah. I remember, so, I, here's a, here's a crazy and, story that will just blow people up. So my, yeah. uh, my grandparents were uh, kids in the great uh, depression as well. And my grandmother, I remember it was Thanksgiving. I had to have been 10 or 11. Cause I vaguely remember this. She was saving aluminum foil. Oh yeah. Mine did that too. Yep. Yeah. I was like, why are you saving the aluminum? And again, keep in mind, my parents and I were broke, broke. Yeah, but my grandparents were saving and in, in reusing aluminum foil. I was like, "Wow, we, that's we, that's different." My grandparents would retoast the wheat thins to get them crispy again. When they were, I was like, "This, yeah, this thing's been expired for like two years." They're like, yeah, put, "All you have to do is toast them, and they taste great." Uh, or being yelled at for not finishing what little milk I had left in the bottom. They're like, "You're not going to wash that down the sink, are you?" Yeah. I mean, I kind of planned on it, and they're like, "Nope, nope, you're gonna you're gonna drink that." So yeah. I think that that's going to be the greatest wealth transfer is the the boomers leaving. Oh. I think I think the number was something like, I think it's like eighty nine trillion in it's wealth. Trillions. It's trillions, eighty nine yeah. trillion in wealth that they're going to leave to their kids. Yeah. Oh my word! So, Millennials are about to be the wealthiest generation ever. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, so here's here's the issue that I have with that, and sometimes it's weird how you can have a. I have a thought sometimes, and it's so crystal clear. I just don't realize how other people haven't thought of this before, right? And when we say the greatest transfer of wealth is is going to go when the boomers leave it, you know, they leave. Mm -hmm. And and uh, most studies have shown that um, most affluent families, they're broke by the third generation. Correct. That's because boomers aren't going to leave their money to their kids. They're going to leave their money to their grandkids. The grandkids that didn't have the exposure to what it took for the grandparents to earn that money. So yeah. that third generation is the one that's going to lose it because they don't understand the money at all. Mm -hmm. This this fourth one, and this is the one uh, that to me was the same as work longer years so that you can retire early. Oh, no. If you want to retire early, the AI says don't skimp. It actually used the word it scripted and said voiced over skimp okay. on long term care insurance. Okay. No. So remember, so the purpose of long term care insurance is to pay for your things when you can't work. Right. So, yeah, that's, I think that's, again, AI kind of, I don't know where it's getting its source of data, right? Garbage in, garbage out. It's crazy. But yeah, if the intention is to retire. Channel. Yeah, it must be. I mean, I don't think Crash Bros are this smart. I mean, this is no. wild. But yeah, long-term care insurance is basically that downside protection. If you can't work anymore, right? Your income is turned off. So yeah, interesting. Which is not triggered when your assets stop performing. Exactly. Exactly. No. And the last one, and this one I actually whiteboarded because this one irritates me so much. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it was, I broke out the whiteboard. It was a white, and it takes me like ten minutes to get this stupid thing down and put it back up. And yeah. Anyways, but it was worth it. AI says, Matt, we'll get your feedback on this first. Okay. If you want to retire early, the most key component is that you don't take Social Security. Before 67. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I um, like how Mike's face says everything. Yeah. 
So you're so so in other words, you're retiring after everybody else does, just making clear. So you're gonna retire ah. after everybody else does at 67. Um, and the the bad news is is again, it sets you on a path that is it's a path to destruction, is really what it is. It's a path to destruction. Like, look at all of the people. There was the article that you sent this morning, D, that was about senior citizens not being able to afford to live somewhere and they're having to move. Because guess what? Social security doesn't cover their expenses anymore in the same place that they were. Now, me personally, I think that that's an absolute travesty. I think that's a travesty. I think that's disgusting when people are being forced to sell because they can't afford to live there anymore. That's awful because I know situations where that's happened. And I've tried to, I've tried to help out and even let them carry the note. And said, why don't you carry the note? Why don't I do a lease back for you? That way you can at least stay in your own home. We can do it at a price that's less than what your renewed mortgage is now, right? So I've tried to do that stuff. But yeah, I mean, it's it's um this is what's gonna replace all the dumb people. It's but it's not gonna replace the smart people. Like, yeah. I, what, what, the, what, what is the definition of early? For AI, I mean, I don't 67. get sixty-seven. That's what it just said. Like, it, well, that's, that's, that's the minimum, Alondra. right? That's the, but but it, that's an early become sixty-seven. Yeah. So here's right. the the problem. That video is getting hundreds of views. Luckily, it's a smaller channel. They're growing, but AI is going to put out more information like that that more and more people are going to see. Well, the good news is, if you follow one of us or all of us, you could probably get it done in about ten years, regardless of what age you start at. And for most people, 10 years is a lot less than 67. <laughs> oh I mean, God. just that. Come on. Your best answer is follow the government's plan. That's your best yeah. answer. Yeah. And again, retiring. I mean, how old does AI think we're going to live? I mean, I, I saw a report yesterday that the average baby boomer today is 67, coincidentally enough. And they're estimated to live 21 years. At least. Yeah. Yeah, that's the median. Or so, yeah. so 12% whatever. of people are unalived before the age of 62. Wow. And the top of the wow. bell curve right now is 76. And if you wait till 67 to take an to SSI, you actually get to break even point at 78.6 years. Of course. You're pretty you far down the other side of the bell curve when there's not that yeah. many people left. And so here's the two things about Social Security that bother me. One, if you're going to retire early, you should make it not matter. It's mm -hmm. not a part of the equation. Agreed. It becomes icing on the cake at some point in the future. Agreed. Yep. And two, to Matt's point, and this is one of those brutal truths people just don't like to hear. We are not supposed to be able to survive on just social security. Correct. That if you are, if you only have social security, this is where you still need to house hack. You need to have roommates and it, yeah. maybe you're renting and have roommates. Maybe you live to a lower cost of living area. Yes. That means you're going to move out of a place like Vegas where the, the attraction and the cost of living has quadrupled in the couple of decades since they started their SSI. If a person makes no plan to have any form of retirement, no assets, no retirement accounts, no nothing. And all they have is SSI. Yes. They're not going to have the same standard of living, quality of life, as somebody who did plan for decades to make sure their retirement wasn't just SSI. This is a fun conversation. So at the end of the day, we should not be afraid of AI because, at least in this sense, because AI doesn't know what early is. And that's still wild. Dion, where can they find you? Right here on YouTube, Dion Talk Financial Freedom, where I try to be as confusing as AI. <laughs> that's not true matt how about you lumberjack landlord youtube and instagram and uh yeah ai models it's all it's all data driven it's amazing yeah. garbage in garbage out take care guys thanks again thanks Ciao. Mike. later